So let's do that. Viridian City, welcome again. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Do 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 some great music there. Okay, nice. I said okay. <laughs> I meant okay. So now we're gonna go back to Route 1 and train some more. I think when um Chelsea grows uh, grows to level seven, um then it will then Chelsea will learn quick attack and that's when we we'll move on to the next route where I wanna catch my sparrow. I hope to catch my sparrow. So yeah, here's a Pidgey level three. Two three okay, three tackles should be in this Pidgey. So let's go Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. There we go. And one more tackle, Chelsea. There we go. Chelsea fainted the Pidgey. Awesome. Nice. Okay, and then let's run it. I think maybe two, three or four more battles on this grass. So we'll get to meet at level six or seven. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Okay, we're at level three. Awesome, awesome. So here we go. Tackle attack. Ooh, nice. Let's get his tail whip. Defense fell. Okay. Tackle attack. And one more tackle should faint this Rata. It's going to wait at my defense another number. But hopefully, I can attack first, or Chelsea can attack first. And there we go. Nice. The Rata fainted. I say Rata and Ratatat, um, both. So I'm pretty much pronouncing it wrong um, at least half the time, which is kind of funny, but oh well. I'm not really good at pronunciations overall, so what are you going to do? This is a Pidgey level 3. Let's give me this tackle on it. There you go, Chelsea. Three more tack or three tackles should total. Three tackles total should faint this Pidgey, but then Pidgey got the critical hit, which throws it the plan off. But hopefully it only does three HP. There we go. One more tackle should do it. And there we go. Pidgey is fainted. Way to go, Chelsea. Level six for Chelsea. But I'm gonna switch Pokemon and train up um Blaster Wall again. I wanna catch my um Next Pokemon Spiro, so I might, it might be a bad idea if I have um my Pokemon a little bit higher leveled, because the Sparrows only appear at level three or level five, so I want to be careful there. So, yeah, yeah, maybe I want to go check out the next route now, actually, and then also Sparrow only has like a five percent appearance rate on that route, which I don't know the name, the number of the route specifically, but it's but it's west of um Viridian City, which we'll go to in a second. Okay, so welcome to our Pokemon Center. We'd like to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Oh, um, Kurat, um, can I name? Can I call you nickname you KT? Because I can't pronounce your Twitch name that well. I'm so, uh, sorry, Kuru Toka. Um, yeah, this is on my computer. I'm I'm using um um. You know, recording, uh, I'm live streaming off an emulator, the Visual Boy Advance, so, yeah. But, um, I, uh, for this series, I don't want to speed through any of this, because I don't want the, I don't want you guys to hear the sped up music, because it gets kind of loud and kind of fast and kind of annoying, if I do it, like, every five seconds, in my opinion. So, yeah. Oh, okay, thanks for, I can call you KT. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. Thanks for letting me do that, because I'm really bad with pronunciations. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next route, and here's a Mankey, and I forgot to read the I forgot to read the number route, so I'll go back and do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna just tackle on this Mankey, and yeah, let's just okay, scratch. It's a critical hit, of course it's a critical hit. Let's just one more tackle. Chelsea fainted the Mankey, yay! So I'm gonna go back and see what route number this was, real quick. What now? What route numbers was this? Rudian City. This is a route 22. So it's later on in the game, of course, because it's actually near the Pokemon League in this game. So, but we can't go further past this actually, because they the guard is the, there's the guards for the Pokemon League further um, after that. If you go here, here's a potion, and then if you um, click on this tree, it'll say this tree is, looks like it can be cut down. And in the original red, blue, and yellow, there's the the potion was actually hit an item on that tree that you had to. Click A on, or press A on. Yeah. So if you go up here again, the people are. St oh wait, never mind. He's still okay. He can move on because, like, at like I said, the second rival battle is optional. But I'm gonna just train a little bit and catch some money Spiro later on. So yeah. What I want to go. What I want to do over here actually is go over to the Pokemon and buy some items actually. 
because I could use them. Let's see. P buy. Um, let's buy. Let's buy th one more Pokeballs. And potions. Let's buy three more, I guess. And antidotes. We'll buy three because they're cheap. And Ferocious will buy two. And there we go, we're at 680 Poké Dollars, but I need these items, you know, they, they help me later on. And by the way, this isn't a Nuzlocke or Randomizer, so um, if a Pokémon faint, I can always revive them because it's not a Nuzlocke or Randomizer. And the Pokémon aren't random, of course, because that would defeat the purpose of being called a Randomizer. You know, Route 22 here, we meet again. Let's hope we can run into Sparrow, but again, as I said before, Sparrow has a 5%, around a 5% appearance rate on this route, so it might take a while. Let's see what this Pokemon is. It's a Mankey. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. And tackle. There we go. Let's use another tackle. This tackle should faint the Mankey. And there we go. Chelsea took down the Mankey. Nice. And yeah. So hopefully we can run into Sparrow. Yeah, just by the off chance of still training up other Pokemon too, that'd be nice. Here's another route to level 2. Listen to Chelsea, and Chelsea will just tackle, and this should, um, 2 hit KO, yeah, there we go. 2 tackles total to faint this Rata. It's gonna raise, it's gonna, the full Rata is gonna, um, lower my defense stat one number. So yeah, critical hit, I'll take it. I'll take every single critical hit I can get, whether it's pointless or not. Because you never know when that critical hit could have not fainted a Pokemon or done so much, uh, done um, as much damage than you think. Because you can always get, you kind of have to guess with critical hits how much it would have done if, like, you were pretty much going to faint the Pokemon in the next turn with the same attack you got the critical hit on or not, if that makes any sense. So here's a Minky level 2. Chelsea will use one more tackle and hopefully Minky will go down and faint. <laughs> that kind of sounds dark, actually. Go down and faint. It's going to lower my defense to buy one stat. But there we go. We Chelsea took down the Mankey. Awesome. Again, it might take a while to run into Sparrow. I mean, yeah, they're pretty they're pretty much uncommon, I think. Or they could be considered rare because it's 5%. But 1% could be also considered rare, too. So I don't know which is which. Here's a Rata level 2. This should take two tackles to faint this Rata. And Chelsea is looking good. There they go, and yeah, the red tag is fainted, or fainted I should say. So close to level 7 where you learn a quick attack, so that's nice. And let's see, what the Pokemon is this? It's a red tag. Level 3, okay. And let's use tackle. Oh, a critical hit, nice, 1 hit KO. Where'd he go Chelsea? Chelsea group gained 24 experience points and grew to level 7. That means Chelsea also learned Quick Attack. Awesome. Nice. So right about now is when I want my spare to or when I want my spare to appear. But here's a Mankey, okay. Level 4, awesome. And let's switch up our moves right here. There we go. Quick attack. Quick attack actually has I'll show you the like, guys all the details after this battle, but Quick Attack always goes first and it also has a slight, um, it has more, a little bit more power than Tackle does. So I'll show that details in a second real quick. There we go. Let's see here, if I go to my Pokemon. Summary. Um, let's see here. Quick, see, Quick Attack has 40 power and... It's 100% um, accurate, actually, on accuracy. And Tail Whip has, um, oh no, never mind, Tackle, sorry, wrong move. Tackle has 35 power and 95 accuracy, so Quick Attack's a little more powerful and uh, has a better accuracy rate, a better accuracy in overall. So yeah, let's see if we can run into our beloved Sparrow that we've been craving, or not craving, that kind of sounds like Sparrow's food, but that's kind of gross, that we've, been, that we've been wanting, I should say. Quick attack on this rat to level two, and let's get his tackle. Three HP on my on Chelsea, and there we go. Rat fainted the rat. Yeah, basically. Okay, five percent appearance rate. Please be with me. Please be with me. Okay, no, never mind. 
We'll render the sparrow later, um, sooner or later, which is good, actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Mankey, Mankey, Mankey. We've run into more Rattas, I think, than Mankeys on this route. To be, because I thought it was the other way around. Usually, when I do playthroughs of this game, I usually run into more Mankeys than Rattas. But yeah, two quick attacks will faint the Mankey. Way to go, Chelsea! Yeah. I want all my, I want my um Chelsea. Uh, I want Chelsea and Blaster to be level nine before this next rival battle, which is again is optional. But I also want to catch my Sparrow too and try to get to level nine as well. But I haven't run into Sparrow yet, so we're gonna have to hope on that first, you know? So let's use Quick Attack, it should faint this level 4. Right to go Chelsea, awesome. Chelsea just destroying everything. In a good way, though. In a good way. Oh, please be, let, be, let there be a Sparrow as a wild encounter soon. Okay, nope. Because soon, usually at this point, I would run into a Sparrow at the time. At, and right now, I haven't run into a Sparrow once. So. Ooh, 3 HP, okay. Did I, do, did I do 3 HP or 2 HP? Let's see. We'll do 2 HP. Nope, it'll do 3 HP. Dang it. Okay, so Chelsea is going down after a long, you know, fight with the raw Pokemon. So I'm going to send up Blaster and just use Tackle. It hits, and then the Rata will go down and faint. Nice. Blaster also good level 8 then with that battle. Nice. If you can just run into Sparrow, I'd be happy. Rata, okay. Okay, this one's level 4. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Come on. Yeah, there we go. It's, you got this blaster. One more attack, we should faint this Rata, and the Rata's gonna lower my def go lower blaster's defense by one number. And there we go. And quit all hit, nice. Okay, we got this. We gotta believe in ourselves, everyone. Oh, a Sparrow, nice. That's what we wanted. A sparrow level 3, awesome. This is the first Sparrow we've wanted to run into. So I'm gonna try a Bubble Attack to see how much that does. Because I don't want to accidentally get a big critical crit and possibly find this Sparrow. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just throw a Pokeball now. Even though it has half its HP left. I don't want to accidentally try to... I don't want to try to get into the reds, but accidentally getting like a critical hit or something, or fainting it otherwise with a critical hit. But let's use a Pokeball. First Pokeball, let's see if we catch it. I don't think we'll catch it in the first Pokeball, but I shouldn't doubt myself with that. One, two, three. Oh, we caught it in the first Pokeball. Nice. Okay, Sparrow was caught. This dude was added to the Pokedex. Okay, so Sparrow is number 21 in the Pokedex. Its name is Sparrow, of course. It's a tiny bird Pokemon. Uh, uh, it, the height is 1 foot. The weight is 4.4 pounds. It has like a V... The, it has like a Y shape of a footprint. With its claws at this, as, the tips of, as the tip of the Ys, kind of. I don't know. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but that's okay. That's its footprint. Um, it... It... Bursley... It... Busily... Busily... I can't even pronounce that word. Flits around here and there, even if it is frail. Comma. I'm just kidding. You don't have to say comma when it is a comma. It, c it can be a tough foe that uses mirror move. And it can actually win mirror move, I think, as a Pharaoh. Maybe even as a Sparrow, still, when leveling up. So that's cool. And then Sparrow has like a, you know, brown head with a, yellow, with a pink beak, black eyes, uh, red wings, kind of. Pink wings, I should say. With a white body, kind of. Almost gray kind of body. Color. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so giving it to the Sparrow, yes, um, since the Sparrow is gonna eventually evolve into, uh, Fero, I wanna just name it a Fear Me, and I think it rings, it has a cool ring to it, but again, it's not a creative nickname, but I kinda like it still. It's very cool. Fear Me, okay. So, let's look at its, um, nature, ability, and stats, why don't we, and moves. Which I think it only has Peck right now, and Growl, but I guess, or maybe just Peck. It's Sassy Nature. Uh, it's a keen eye ability which prevents a loss of accuracy like so it doesn't get it doesn't lose accuracy from like moves like sand attack or mud slap that always lowers accuracy stuff like that moves like that it has really good speed it has really good attack that's good and everything else is pretty decent too 
I'm just basing off the single digit numbers for that stat, so right there, you know, it's Peck and Grell. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, because my team is really beat up right now. I just wanna go back to the Pokemon Center and it'll be all good. So, yeah.